Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I'm out here in the woods and it's early spring and that's the time when you want to tap birches. Stay tuned. Okay, here we have an example of a birch tree. The latent name of this species is Betula pendula. And in springtime, when the ground is not frozen anymore, the tree sucks up nutrition and water, and the birch sap flows up to the crown where it's needed for the leaves and flowers. And that's exactly the time of the year when we can tap the birch and use the sap for ourselves. So for tapping the birch tree, we just search for a flat area like this wide area here of the bark and then we take our knife and we you know shove it into the bark and we really have to get into the sap wood the sap wood is the active wood which transports nutrition and water and it's right underneath the green cambium layer okay now we have tapped our birch tree and the water is coming out of it and next i'm making a second cut but only into the bark and I make some kind of, you know, tab out of the bark so that the sap can flow into the canteen that I'm setting up later. Okay, all we need to do now is we have to wait until the cup is filled up with birch sap. And I have to say that the birch tree is one of my favorite trees when it comes to bushcraft and survival because it has so many uses for us humans. For example, you can uh, take the bark and use it as tinder for fire making. The bark burns extremely well because it contains oils which are very flammable and it burns even when it's wet like today. And uh, you can make a tea from the leaves and the tea is diuretic and you can drink it if you have any problems with your bladder or with your kidneys. And in the Norse mythology, the birch tree was a symbol for fertility and new birth, which is pretty interesting to know. Okay, we have about 100 milliliter of birch sap in there. I'm taking it off the tree and give it a try. As you can see, the sap is clear and it's safe to drink as well, so you don't need to boil it anymore. Yeah, it tastes like water, but with a little bit of sugar in it. So it has about one gram of sugar at an amount of 100 grams, so it's about 1% sugar. And some people make birch syrup with it, just like you make maple syrup. So, yeah, it's quite a refreshing drink that you can use in any kind of survival situation. For example, when your water source is contaminated or you don't find any water, you can tap trees, for example, like the birch tree, and get pure water out of the tree, which is great. Besides sugar, birch sap also contains antioxidants, vitamin C and a group of vitamin B, as well as a lot of minerals especially manganese. So if you drink about 200 milliliters of birch sap, it will fulfill 100% of your daily needs of manganese and that's quite a lot. Okay, now it's time to close the wound of the tree and for this I'm using pine pitch, which I'm gonna heat up and I glue uh, the wound together so that the sap stays inside of the tree. Okay, I have closed up the wound and there's no birch sap leaking out of it anymore and it's really important that you close the wound because birch trees can't close the wound by themselves very quickly and you don't want to risk the uh, tree get damaged. Yeah guys, so I want to thank this tree for giving me birch sap and I want to thank you guys for watching. Please check out these videos here at the sides, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and stay tuned till next time. Bye!